My friends, welcome back. We're playing as the United Federation of Planets. In between episodes, I decided I'm not going to be bothering with the planets because every now and then, when integrating a subject, we are just getting a few random plants and we'd have to go through all 90 of them and that's just a bit too much for me. Uh, for the planet that I had unemployment on, except this one because it's actually a specialist, I've decided that we're just building three large-scale fields and three mining network. I'm not going to be doing one building at a time. I'm just going to be queuing up the maximum amount of it. So it, it definitely will do something over there. In terms of edicts, is there something that we can do? No, not really interested in most of these uh, options. Maybe the uh, educational reforms. So we're, we're still working the uh, the war here. My armies are on their way. It's the final three planet of these guys. We're still building up. Let's close the enemy tab down because it's just scrolling up like crazy. Come on, close. Uh, some of the scientists are busy. A colony ship is still busy. Yeah, the... the, the the Empire is working hard to uh, get everything under control. We are building up the station in here. I queued up all of the buildings. All of them. So it's going to be a lot. A lot. No upgrades are available, which is finally what I wanted to see. One of these fleets is, is going to be the very first one to be... Well... To finally show us the maximum amount of uh, military power that they will provide us with. So that is definitely something that I'm happy about. Let us take a look if we can help building up these ships uh, to a greater extent. Let's go to fleet management and we see that we need, well, almost 40,000 alloys. Uh, it's not that much. It, it sounds a lot, but it's actually... Look, two months are a thousand. So, 40 would be 20 months. 20 months to get. Just a little over a year. We need a lot of trained officers. Uh, we need... Well, all of this we'll have. I'm not worried about the strategic resource. We can just buy the 5k. And there we go. It's the end of the war. Best possible outpost outcome... Um, let's go with a deal with you, also with you, we'll build you up slowly, can we invite you into the coalition, there is, there we go, they're now part of the coalition, they are going to be part of the coalition, which is precisely what I would like, so I do like this a lot. Let's go here and let's go back into orbit. If we got a protection request from the Solomons. Why not? So are you now part of it? Yes, they are. Interface cloaking has been uh, tested. And of course, this will probably trigger something else. Uh, the game is actually um, not moving forward at the moment. <laughs> okay, stop. Go to you. Research this project, Shark Wolf. Also, let's make sure that I actually see my recording software. So I, I see that it actually is doing something. Who, What I'm lacking now would be an option like EU4. And I know I refer back to EU4 a lot. Um, but there's this option which shows you who would be willing to become one of your vessels. And that's just amazing. That really is a very, very good feature. So the Commonwealth is going to be integrated relatively soon. They are in the Renaissance, the Renaissance still. So that won't change anything. And we're definitely focused on our fleet. Construction and we're apparently still selling slaves, which is bad. We don't want to. Let's reinforce over here. I don't know about this. Something is up. Something is up. Migration treaty from them, I will accept. Okay, who's next? Because, well, it is a matter of time. And, well, even though we might not be in the best of uh, 
of strengths. I, I'd say we definitely want to keep going. You are being upgraded, so I will not bother you with that. Um, you're all the way there. Yeah, I'd say it is going to be... Let's just call in a few fleets. They're just sitting around, not doing anything. Not the third fleet, because, well, he's... Uh, He's kind of, kind of on the low side there. Yeah. Oh no. The fuel testing on board the SSS um, Exuncia has failed. So, uh, Shark Wolf, I, I'm, I'm afraid, buddy, that you just... Um, you were in this series for a very short amount of time. Sorry for that. I, um, yeah, it, it's dangerous technology, right? Integration has been completed, um, so we have a few less subjects. Let's make sure that we go and work on the next one. We can only release you. Integrate the subject. And then we'll just work towards uh, getting the rest. I don't... I'm actually considering integrating these guys. The Kabali. How long would it take? It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But things will be fine. It just takes a bit longer. Um, who are you? Kardashians are trying to get that under control. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be bothered by this. Uh, you are going to be researching that. And doing that. You, just, just go wherever. Go and have some fun somewhere. Construction complete. What kind of ships are we currently building? Tree, tree, two. So if we figure out that this is going wrong because of this, it just still it thinks it doesn't have the tropes for Take one weird old reason. And we got the repair stations. Getting so close. I will do the uh, civilian class ships at the same time if we're doing the other ships. Increase the AA damage. That is ground to space. Yeah, let's get uh, rid of those tile blockers. And we're over one. And it's probably due to our latest subject. This guy. What do you have in there? 51. That ain't too bad. I'll, um, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Well, we're changing that. Crew quarters. No. Let's go with the Naval Logistics Center. Let's get rid of all of this. Economy is a bit tanky today. It is what it is. It will solve itself. The problem we currently have is um, the amount of unemployed jobs. So we don't have to worry about that. Also, my ships are moving. So, yeah. He's not doing anything. What are we lacking? Uh, do we have those crystals? Oh, we got plenty of those crystals. He's just, uh, not interesting. Um, Askin Azirel has uh, unfortunately died. Which is indeed a very, very shameful thing. It's not a shameful thing. It's, uh, I'm, 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 I'm sad that it happens. Uh, baseball boy, you will get your other command back. Once it's back, you... You. We'll just start using these. Get more scientists. Go explore. Go explore. And you're both not able to. So move back. Where are you heading to? Oh yeah, to do the wormhole. That is so cool. I really love this. And we could actually get here in Borg territory. That's also very frightening. Because the Borg might be setting up. You know, a few of those transwarps and it's jumping right there in the heart of my system with about 120k. Mm, I might have to stop this upgrade. 
I might. Actually, no, I know what the problem is. The problem is that our shipyard is uh, completely filled up. Um, and we got one, two, three ambassador classes. Do we need that many? Well, I think we do. Let's see, you need one, two, you need six, of three, so it's five. Yeah, we need five in total. Coalition Association offer? Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's good. And he was a governor, so let's replace you. There you go. Yeah, the economy, you know what we should do. Just just turn this off for the, for a second. Just keep it like that. That will go back into the positive. Nobody cares about that. Energy credits will go into, well, not so long. Food in nine months. Like I said, we need to wait for a second here. And make sure we stabilize. It's just due to jobs that it's down at the moment. And you know what, for the time being... Establishing colony. Let's downgrade you. So that is all going ahead. Where are you going? Bajor. And then what? Well, it's fine. So basically, it's food. Food is the main issue right now. We got 93 planets, you're not building, you are once, you're still that bloody specialist, which is absolutely annoying. How long? Uh, 380 days. Four specialists. Uh, let's upgrade these two buildings. That will get rid of those specialists. Yeah, that's about it. Population, immigration. Well, it's not really growing at the moment, which is fine. We just have to let it go for now. 23 and a half there. This fleet is almost, almost there. One more Excelsior class is what we need. So cool. Absolutely, I'm really enjoying this. I think we, uh, we should stop. Wasting time. And you will be the very first that the Federation will declare war on and impose ideology. I'm very sorry for you. We don't know your god. But you are a danger to us. And we are going to be dealing with the threat. Hopefully. If everyone votes yes. And I think they will. It is a, it's kind of a... Uh, Well, I guess we won't be going to war then. So let's go back here. Um, you go wherever you are and you go back home. Because war is not going to happen. Because the Federation is the Federation and the majority decided not to go with to war. How is the First Empire doing? Can we integrate you? You are inferior? <laughs> no, you're not. Your economy? Sure. But the rest... No, you're not. And yeah, you can actually see that mainly the energy is all due to our fleets moving out. He is still upgrading, apparently. I don't think he ever will be. How many ships are, st are queued up in here? Yeah, some of these are not even built. Yeah, he has the upgrading jobs. 600 and some more days for the new enterprise to come in. I'm quite worried. Yeah, the Excelsior class is going to be earlier. Construction complete. Oh, what to do? If we get the pop-up about a new flagship, we'll just have to deal with that. And what we also should do, once we have all of the ships. Selling everything, getting population. Uh, as you can see, we, we have a lot of jobs here. We have 10 jobs on Terra Nova itself. We do have to be somewhat careful about how we do this. This is a temperate. Yeah, it's 80% with them. 
So we can definitely fill up some jobs in here. But we'll have to sell a few strategic resources to obtain the money. You're once again at full. Just sell all of you, whatever. Uh, we're building up. Sell 5,000. And... We'll... Construction complete. Sell 500 of you. Discovered. Oh, here we go, guys. A new flagship. A new long-range expedition vessel can be constructed. This is... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the Enterprise C, even though some of you would really love to see it, is most likely never going to happen. Because here we go. The Challenger, the Nigeria, and the New Orleans class all are going to be researched next. This um, does remove, of course, the Ambassador as well as the Constellation. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's go and take a look. So, here we go. The Miranda class, the newest uh, of newest weapons. Spiral, I like this. Let's go. Let's do auto upgrade. Some cool options in here. So, the Miranda. The, um, there we go. Hey, this looks very familiar now, doesn't it? Here we go, guys. The Enterprise D. It's finally here. 2511 with a firepower. Yeah, it's not the best. It's still a research ship. Um, yeah, well, it is what it is. And the Galaxy class is here. I really like this one. We'll we'll, uh, we'll use the Galaxy class for sure. Also, auto upgrade would be cool. Extended shields buffering all shields of friendlies. <laughs> oh, damn, guys. Do we got some upgrades for you? Excelsior, you are new. How about you? Tor Torpedo Barrage Cruiser? No. No new options. So, the Nebula class is a ship. We want to get in there. And I would really like to see these old ships now go. Because it's it's just confusing me. It is. So, do we have some old ships in here? The Akula class. I think we're still using that. The Curry class. Okay, we'll have to take a look here. What is the Curry class? It's this one. So the Akula class is this small ass ship. And well, let's be frank. We're not using it. And the Akuri class neither. We're not going to be using it. So let's get rid of those. So let's go back. And Curry class. What else? The Miranda class. There was something with that. I know that I just talked about that. So the Miranda class is now going to be done with the Nebula class. So let's retire the Miranda class. Yeah, this is going to be way easier for me to keep track on what the hell is going on. Let us retire the NX prototype since we just don't need it anymore. Anything else? Okay, let's go back. Let's call you back on here. Multi-class vessels. Nebula class. Okay, so we're still using the the Nebula class. So we're, we're going to continue that. And we'll just keep these. I would really like to get rid of the Topol class. It is so obnoxious. Let's go back. Heavy cruisers. Constitutional class. Well... Are we going to be using the constitutional class? The thing is that we are retiring towards the latest design of the Federation. So it is it's exploration, the galaxy, as well as the nebula. I don't want to get too few of them. Let's get rid of you for a second. Let's see, advanced cruisers. So the Excelsior class is him. I kind of don't want to make... Oh, we need to get some ships back. Falcon cruiser. And no other options. 
Can we get rid? We cannot remove the last design. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what kind of ships that we should be using for the uh, for the newest ships. We have the Enterprise D here, so the Galaxy class, which is definitely a cool one. I'm actually considering moving some of these back, but some of these ships just look so old. And these are just looking so incredibly, incredibly cool that I would really like to use them. A lot of shields there, but some, look at this. 221 that's the firepower of the fleet and we don't want to get rid of all of them right so also this upgrade it's it's a lie it's not happening Construction complete. it's probably one of these ships that is uh not doing what it's supposed to be doing so let me know guys in the comment section what we should do i will allow the construction of the ambassador class so we can actually see the flagship it is still the Enterprise C. And we'll just um, showcase it for a while. It's just two years. Not so much. Uh, I'm sure that... Uh, well, Baseball Boy will... Uh, will still want to feel... The Ambassador class flagship. Before going into the Constitutional class. Let's buy also... Let's buy some food here. Like that. Well, guys, I'm going to look into that in between episodes, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.